Today we have an experiment which the aim it is to, it is to determine the volume of an irregular solid object. The first step, we poured the water into the Eureka can. Second step, you tie the object or an irregular shape object before you measure it. You take the measuring cylinder. First of all, the measuring cylinder should, don't, should not have any water inside before you measure the volume. After that, you put the irregular shape object into the Eureka can. Yes, after that, you measure the volume of the soil. The volume is 33 meter cubic. So the volume of a liquid is 33 meter cubic. Okay? So the volume of an irregular shape object is 33 meter cubic. So my name is Helen Maenge from Form 1A student. My name is Justin Mugawa from Form 1A. My name is Sanita Hayden from Form 1A. My name is Devota Barama from Form 1A. Before we finish up, I have an advice. I advise all students in all schools and all people they should not dare to leave physics. Physics is the best subject in the world. We wanted to explain about the part of the human skeleton. We, we started at the skull. This skull helps for protecting the brain, also the ribs. And this leakage is, that is for protecting heart and lungs. And what about the vertebral column? This is helpful for protecting and supporting the, part, the upper part of the body. Also the pharma, also the ulna, radius. This is helpful for supporting the arm. Also there is the pelvic giddle. This is pelvic giddle. This is helpful for connecting the upper part of the body and the lower part of the body. Also there is pharma, pharma. This is pharma. This femur is, for, is responsible, responsible for making lady blood cells. Also, there is two bones here. here. There is tibia and the fibula. Oh, this will also help for, protect, for supporting the arm, the leg. And this is all structure. This is help for locomotion movement and help to give shape the body. Yes, my name is Seif Sham. I'm a student in Form 3B. My name is Mitchell Joel Katala. I'm a student of Form 3A. My name is Emmanuel Moses Katamba. We are here to discuss about the function of brain. First, brain is a delicate organ which found in the human skeleton. This is a mode of brain. The brain is composed of three parts, which are forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. Forebrain is known as cerebrum. Cerebrum is folded in order to increase surface area. This is cerebellum. Cerebellum is the middle part of the brain, which is responsible for motor activities or muscle activities. This one is hindbrain, which is Composed with medulla oblongata, which is responsible for controlling all involuntary activities, and here is responsible. And here, cerebrum is is responsible for controlling all voluntary activities. The first function of cerebrum is for speaking, vision. Okay, first function of cerebrum is for speaking and vision. You second function of cerebrum. 
is for learning about motor activities such as walking and playing. Here is medulla oblongata, which control all involuntary activities. Those involuntary activities such as heart beating, sneezing, and coughing. The general function of the brain is like the general, the first function of the brain is to store information. Second one. Second one is to receive impulse from all sense organs. Thank you. My name is Richard Antonio My name is Misha Njoen Gatara. I'm a student of Form 38. My name is Philip Nipos, a student from Form 3 My name is Mila Mueras Matujobe. I'm a student of Form 3 So the way you are born. They are going to learn about the titration experiment. Eh? In normal in this titration experiment we use acid and base. And this titration experiment is sometimes known as acid base titration or acid base experiment. So one, before starting the experiment, we want to know the aim of experiment and the apparatus which are used. We start with the aim of experiment. Welcome to the aim of experiment. The aim of the experiment is to determine the volume of acid. And now we're going to know function of each apparatus which you are used. Welcome. First of all, here we have a little system. First of all, here we have a little system. The function of this little system is used to support the bullet during the pressure experiment. Second, we have this bullet. The function of it is used really to hold the base. Thank you. Also, we have beta. That is used for holding more Folding base and acid. Another example plus folding base. It is used for measuring accurate volume of base. And we have a white tiles. This one, it is used for color detection. Thank you. Okay. Now we are going to know procedures used in this experiment. Before to know the procedure, we have two solutions, acid and base. So, in case and normally this apparatus, which are called beaker, used to store acid and base, are labeled during experiment. But in case this apparatus are not labeled, we use this litmus paper in order to know which solution is base and which solution is acid. We start by detecting the which is acid. Take one piece of litmus paper and put it into a beaker which contain one solution in order to know which is acid. So this litmus color, litmus paper, change color from blue to red. This shows that this solution is acid. Take another piece of litmus paper, put into another solution. The color remains blue. This shows that this solution is base. So now, we know this is acid and this is base. So we are going to start the procedures how to perform our experiment. First, we pour acid into a barrel. Second procedure, we must know the volume of base. Then the volume of base is known, and by, is known as by using pipette. And the volume of base used normally is accurate volume of this pipette, which is 25. Then you take the so beaker which contains base and we pipette to this solution. So after pipetting, we pour this base into a conical flask. After that, this is a base which is have its known volume, which is 25. 
Then we take our indicator, which is used to detect the current during this experiment. And this indicator, we use phenophrine indicator, OPOP. We pour two or three dots in a conical flask which contain base. And when, after pouring this indicator, the color will change to pink. So this is a pink color which is detected by our indicator after pouring it into a conical flask which contains base. Then we are going to start titrating in order to know the volume of acid used in this experiment. So our color is already changed from pink to colorless. This is a colorless color which is detected by indicator after titrating our acid. So this we say this barrett is was poured with acid. So the volume of acid which we used we, we will know after seeing the numbers which are in barrett to see where the level of acid is after titrating. See, the level of acid is at 25 mils. So the volume of acid which is used in this experiment as the, our aim states is 25 mils. So in order to know the exact volume of acid used in the experiment, you must perform this experiment or repeat this experiment two or three times. And after getting the volume of acid in these two or three experiments, we must find the average volume of those volumes which you got. And after that, that average of these volumes is what we call the exact volume of acid used, which will help you to perform other calculations which falls in the questions. Thank you. My name is Michael Rosal, which I will, who are the head of this experiment. Rafael? My name is Kikupa Samuel Makosia. I am a from Toulouse student. My name is Zakaria Nazis Komba. I'm a from Toulouse student. My name is Sebota Richard. I am a from Toulouse student. My name is Arun Shah. I am from Kisi. My name is Dr. Sipar. I am from Kisi. We are from Kisi. Science students, child.